Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, recently Amazon did a great job fighting against bots and RMT. And if you look at the chart here, the player base dropped like 600k from last week and the numbers is staying around 250k these days, shows the bots are not coming back yet. Well, I'd say keep it up Amazon, well done. And if you keep an eye of the marketplace, you will notice that the price of everything dropped like 20% due to the spam wave. Well, look at the Great Honor Leap Stones, Grudge Engraving Books, and Destruction Guardian Stones. This is kind of normal because of shortage of illegal gold that comes from the bots. And the overall buying power of players are no longer huge right now. So don't panic. It is not a financial crisis. So in general, the market is back to a healthy situation where the price is actually a reflection of supply and demand. So every one of you can have faith in the loss arc and enjoy the game. Well then, let's jump to our discussion today. Should we push our outs to 14.15? Well, if you're still watching this video, I believe you have multiple 1370 outs sitting here and you may ask why, why we don't wait for the stronghold research buff for 1415s. Let me explain here. The first is, in my opinion, what actually makes 1415 totally different than any other item level is the relic drops. And not only relic accessories, but also relic tripods which is the level 4 tripod. You can get accessories from Guardian Raid, Deskaluda, Normal Mode Valton, and in Chaos Dungeon, you can get level 4 tripods, and there's a low chance you can also get the relic accessories as a clear reward. If you're looking at the auction house, all those relic accessories sold at a higher price compared to legendaries. And for the tripods, level 3 tripods are no longer popular here since level 4 tripods is the highest level you can find at Lost Ark and they are always in need. The demand raises the price. If you don't know how this tripod works or how to make money from those tripods, I posted a video before and you can click this card to watch this video. The information in there may be a little bit outdated because at that time I was focusing on level 3 tripods and now it's level 4. But the overall idea is there. Relics are expensive right now because people don't have much access to it, since most people reach normal or hard mode Valton with their mains. Once there's a honing buff, everyone is going to push their outs and cause a price drop off everything because more supply incoming. What's more is, to be able to clear Vault and Normal, you will have a minimum 3x3 three three engravings ready, which will actually make your owls have potential to sell Argos bus. You can clear all 3 phases of Argos and get some extra gold at 14.15, so why not? You can choose to farm gold with stable incomes at 1370, but what I'm saying here is if you want to experience more content every week and take some risk to earn gold like RNG jobs from relic accessories or tripods, it's good to get your outs at 1415 right now. We don't know the honing buff date yet and it will not come until further notice in mid-July. So if you want to have some fun, go for it. It may take a long time to recover, but you won't regret it. Alright, if you're still watching, means you have some interest in 1415 your characters. And now, how do it enhance it? This is kind of tricky, it depends on how far you want to progress your character. So many of you may have seen this picture, the cheese way to 1415. The result is based on we don't have any legendary honey books and stronghold research buff. And with the current honey books dropped in Valton and Vicus later, the cost should be actually less. Well, you may say, if we're going to push out to 1445 or above eventually to do hard mode Valton or Vicus, 
Well, what's the point of doing this cheese method, since the overall cost to fourteen forty-five is the same? You plus seventeen everything. The reason is the upcoming stronghold buff. If we fully enhance every piece to plus fifteen, when the buff comes out, it does nothing to our character. But if we use the cheese method, we still have three pieces under plus fifteen. So basically, the more we can use the honey buff later, the more we can save the materials. All right, that's all for today's content. Should you push your elves to fourteen fifteen? I believe you have your answer already. This is Moo Kiki. If you liked the video, please leave a like or comment, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, see you next time.